How did you feel about those Jim Crow laws at the time? I didn't pay attention to it. You didn't think anything of it? The people that stand by and do nothing about racism are a bigger problem than racism. I went ahead and messaged all his grandkids. Hey, it's Mexican Ed with another video. As always, I'll play the full video for those who just want to watch and leave, and thereafter, I'll provide commentary for those who hate the world as much as I do. Enjoy. How did you feel about those Jim Crow laws at the time? I didn't pay attention to it. You didn't think anything of it? The people that stand by and do nothing about racism are a bigger problem than racism. I went ahead and messaged all his grandkids. I let the nursing home he's staying at know. As a 106-year-old man, he's collecting Social Security. I contacted the Social Security Administration to see if they want to be known as a racist organization that supports bigots. And he has a racist GoFundMe. I just wanted to confirm with GoFundMe that they are okay supporting a racist apologist. Good luck paying those living expenses now. Definitely don't donate to his GoFundMe. I hope he has the day he deserves. All right, now that we've separated the homies from the people with ADHD, let's start the real show. Look, a part of me thinks this is just satire, but I have no hope for humanity, so who cares? Rewind the video and tell me if you spot the clues. Call this video what you want. I call it as stupid as paying for lentil soup with a $3 bill, but that'd be a disservice to American currency and the almighty lentil. By the way, this dude looks like he smells like what your butthole says after eating lentils. And with that nose, I'm sure he can smell it before it happens. Homeboy looks like a Pixar character who got run through the shitometer. Seriously, F this dude with a chainsaw. Because really, what's the point of this video? And what's the point of this dude breathing air? You think I have the answers? Well, I don't. But I do know an idiot when I see one. It doesn't really matter what a 160-year-old man said because he's old. He's part of a different time with a lifetime of real-world experiences that we have no concept of. I'll include the full video here for those who want to see exactly what the old dude said. The audio kind of sucks, but it's the only way to get full context, if that's your sort of thing. My sort of thing is just roasting the idiot who made the video. Nevertheless, here's the video. How did you feel about those Jim Crow laws at the time? I didn't pay attention to it. There was nothing, nothing in, in the uh, north. It was the south that uh, had Jim Crow. Mm. We didn't pay attention to this stuff. Our schools were, were mixed and everything, and the teams were mixed, and it didn't affect us. I mean, and besides that, I was too young to have any opinion anyhow. It was really ruthless. In the south? Us. There was an article in the paper, I don't know the town, but it was in the south, and this black guy was in shorts and a t-shirt, and he ran through a white neighborhood. Then three guys took after him. One of the guys shot him, killed him, and that was just from running through the neighborhood. And uh, the trial just went a couple of weeks ago. These three guys were convicted of murder, mm -hmm. and they'll spend their life in prison. That's the way Jim Crow was. It wasn't like that in the North. That was the South. So where you lived, it, things were segregated, but people weren't as worried about um, Nobody. the segregation? My, yeah, I wasn't uh, affected by it one way or the other. Howie Owen on the track team was black, and he was one of my best friends. Mm. Another, some football players. Oh, I can't remember their names, but Howie Owen I remember because he was on our championship, uh, really, see. No, I didn't even give it a thought when we were kids. Mm -hmm. Seems like our country made a lot of progress with racism, and now it's all just gone backwards. I don't think so. I don't think they ever made any progress. Yeah. Uh, the South, South has been pretty rough over the years. North, it's okay. Don't have any trouble in North above Mason-Dixon line, but uh, they still have trouble in South. Just like these three guys running at this guy in a, a pickup just for running through the neighborhood. Yeah. Then they killed him. It's and insane. Then, like I said, they spent the rest of life in jail. Yeah, as they should. But at one time, they wouldn't even be arrested down South. Mm. One time they just Wow. See what I mean? Complete bullshit. Frankly, I look at this newer generation like I look at NASCAR. 
I could give two shits about watching it go around in circles, because me, I'm only here for the car crashes. I'm Mexican Ed, and I'm a little messed up in the head. Thanks for watching. They call me Mexican Ed, I'm a little messed up in the head, and I'm a talking shit tonight to the voices in my head. Random.